What is up everybody? Today we are looking at multiplying a three digit number by another three digit number and this is probably as hard as multiplication can get without getting into decimal numbers. So let's begin. Okay, we're going to look at one example today. We're going to look at 345 times 263 and we're going to call that a red chili challenge just because it's a three digit number multiplied by another three digits. So our steps of success today are going to be to start by creating our place value chart where we make sure we put our ones, tens and hundred labeled as ever, just so we don't put any numbers in the wrong place. Then we're going to partition our question. We're going to understand what that means in a minute. And then we're going to start with the smallest value on the bottom row. Then we'll simply multiply along our place value chart until we finish multiplying all the individual parts before then we finally smash it back together to get our final answer. So here we have 345 multiplied by 263. So first things first, I'm going to put my ones tens and hundreds label and then I can enter my 345 making sure I'm putting everything in the right place multiplied by 263 put my multiplication sign my equals lines and I'm ready to start let's just tidy that up bang there we go okay so then my next step said to partition the question well what does that mean well it means that we're actually going to be looking at this question in different sections and the first section is going to be looking at this three on the bottom row. And we're simply gonna multiply this three by the number on the top row, which is 345. Again, we're gonna do that in stages, but essentially this line is gonna be three multiplied by 345. Then we're gonna look at our tens column, our next smallest value on the bottom row, which is then a six. But it's not a six, is it? It's actually in the tens column, so it holds the value of a 60. And we must remember that, it's gonna come very important later. So it's gonna be 60 multiplied by the top row, which is 345. And then finally, I'm going to be multiplying this 2, which actually holds the value of a 200, by the 345. So this is a very sensible first step to do, to write out your partitioned question so that you know exactly what you're doing in each of the stages. Because once we add our 3 times 345, and our 60 times 345, and our 200 by 345, we're going to get our total answer, because we've just partitioned the 263 into the 3, the 60, and the 200. Okay, so now we're going to partition the 345 step by step 2. Here we go. So my first question is actually going to be 3 multiplied by this 5. And 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. But uh-oh, I can't put 15 like this in one column. So what do I have to do? That's right, I'm going to put my 5 in here, because 15 gives me 5 ones. But I'm going to put my 1 for my 10 just up in this little box here, ready to be added to that column in a moment. Now I'm going to do 3 times 4. And 3 times 4 is 12. But I've got this little 1 to remember, so my answer is actually 13. And again, 13 consists of a little one and a big three in the tens column. Now, big tip at this point, cross out that one that we've already now used so that we don't add it up later. And finally, for this row, I've got three multiplied by the three. And three times three is nine, plus my one gives me 10. Cross that little one out. Now, I can put my 10 straight into my thousands column as I did because I have nothing else left on this row to actually multiply. So the answer to 3 times 345 is 1,035. I've done that row. Now I can start to look at my second row, my 60 times 345. But I can't just start as I did do before by doing 6 times 5 because it's not 6 times 5, it's 60 times 5. So I need to show that 10 times larger by putting in a placeholder here. So now I can look at it as just a six and say six times five is 30. And again, small three, large zero. Now I can do six times four and six times four is 24. Plus my three, 27. Small two, big seven, cross out my three. And finally for this row, six times three and six times three is 18. Plus my two gives me 20. Cross out my two. So my answer to 60 times 345 is 20,700. Okay, now I'm ready for my final row. How can we show that 200 is 100 times larger than the two? Well, I can put two placeholders. And by putting two placeholders, I'm saying that everything I multiply this two by is actually now being multiplied by 200. Okay, now I can start by multiplying my two times five. Two times five is 10, so small one, big zero. 2 times 4 is 8, plus my 1 is 9, cross out my 1, and then finally 2 times 3 is 6. 
So the answer to 200 times 345 is 96,000. Okay, so I've multiplied all the individual parts, but am I finished? No, because now I need to put it all back together. So I'm gonna add an add sign. Five plus zero plus zero is five. Three plus zero plus zero is three. Zero plus seven plus zero is seven. One plus zero plus nine is 10. Two plus six plus my one is nine. So my answer to 345 times 263 is 90,735. Give myself a big tick. And there we have it. That is multiplying a three digit by a three digit number as quickly as possible. Okay, now it's your turn. I've got two questions here for me on the board. Press pause, give yourself some time to work it out. Put your answer in the comments section, check your answers again to the comments, and I'm gonna try and mark every one as well. Good luck.